Today we're reviewing the M1 Finance app, a robo-advising investment platform that's 100% free to use. We'll be going over all its features and discussing what makes M1 Finance one of the easiest ways to automate your investing. Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Eric of Everyday Investing. And on this channel, I'm all about helping the everyday investor like you and I get started saving and investing. So if you're new here today, I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button down below with that bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future investing or personal finance videos. Today we are reviewing the M1 Finance app and I just wanna let you guys know if after the video you still would like to learn more about M1 Finance, I encourage you to check out my full in-depth review on my blog at everydayinvesting.com. I'll be sure to include the link down to that blog post review down below as well as my referral link where you can get a free $10 when first joining M1 Finance and making your first deposit. So what exactly is the M1 Finance app? Well, the M1 Finance app is a robo-advising investing app that's ideal for both new investors and experienced investors. Not only is the app 100% free to use, there's zero commissions to buy or sell any stocks, but they also offer a lot of tools packed into the app that give you a lot of features that make it stand out from the competition. Now, the M1 Finance app is available on both Android and iOS devices. In addition, you can also access M1 Finance from the web, they do have a desktop version so you can access your M1 Finance portfolio from your computer or laptop just the same. Now I actually like their website platform a lot. I think it might even be a little bit cleaner than their mobile app. So it does give you a lot of flexibility. You can access your portfolio either on the go or at home. So how exactly does the M1 Finance app work? Well, one of the reasons I think that M1 Finance can be an ideal option for new investors is because they let you invest in what's called fractional shares and you can invest in fractional shares of both individual stocks and ETFs. Now essentially, fractional shares allow you to invest in an expensive stock of a company that may cost hundreds of dollars and if you don't have hundreds of dollars lying around, you could instead invest in a fraction of that stock in a portion of that share. So let me give you an example. Let's say that you want to invest in Amazon as you could see, a current price of Amazon for a full share is $1,805 at the time of filming this video. So if you don't have $1,800 lying around, but you still want to invest in Amazon in the company, what you can do is on M1 Finance, you can click on that buy button and you can buy a fractional share of Amazon. So let's say you want to invest in $25 worth of Amazon. You can do that. You can invest in $25 of Amazon. You could invest in $50 of Amazon, you could invest in $10 of Amazon, whatever amount is comfortable for you, you have that option through M1 Finance, and that's why I think it's a great starting point for new investors. So this is just a brief look at the home page right now, the M1 Finance app. As you can see on the home page, on the very top, you'll see your overall portfolio value, and beneath that, you'll notice the holdings inside your M1 Finance portfolio. So here you can track all your individual stocks and ETFs that you've invested in, as well as their performance inside your portfolio. Now, one of the cool things I really like with the M1 Finance app, guys, is that they allow you to invest in what they call custom pies. Now, essentially, these pies are custom portfolios made up of individual stocks and ETFs inside your M1 Finance account. And you can have just one pie or you can have multiple pies for multiple investing goals. Now, don't worry if you're new to investing. M1 Finance actually has over 60 pre-built and diversified pies for you to choose from to really help you kickstart your investing. So let me just give you a brief look into that guys. So what you want to do is if you ever want to edit your investments or your pie as they call it, your portfolio, simply click on the plus button right down there and you want to click on edit pie. So if you click on edit pie, this is where you can see how much each investment inside your M1 Finance portfolio is broken down to by percentage. So just for this example, I set each one to 10% and I set some to 5%, but you can break down the percentage to how you like. But right now, let me show you this plus button here. This is where you can add new investments or what they call new slices to your M1 Finance portfolio. So you will notice you can choose from thousands of individual stocks here. As you can see, you can search for any stocks. Say you want to invest in, uh, let's just say Netflix, type in Netflix, and you'll see Netflix right there. You can click on that and invest in Netflix. You can also invest in thousands of ETFs as well. So you have several S&P 500 ETFs as well as any ETF you can think of. Now here's the expert pies area. This is the area I recommend for new investors. You might wanna consider looking here first. This can kickstart your investing off on the right track. So they have several different expert pies such as general investing, planning for retirement, responsible investing, and so forth. Now if you click on general investing, you'll see that each topic has subcategories. So they really do give you a lot of flexibility based on your risk tolerance and investment objectives. So with their expert pies, you can choose from an ultra conservative portfolio 
to a more moderate portfolio, even all the way to an ultra aggressive portfolio. And inside each of those, you'll see an overview of the uh, portfolio's uh, description, as well as its statistics and performance over the past couple of years. So this really is a great place to look and see when you're just getting started investing. But again, if you have a little more experience investing and you want a little more uh, control over your investments, you don't have to choose an expert pie. You can choose yourself from several thousands of ETFs as well as thousands of individual stocks. So once you've either chosen one of M1 Finance pre-built expert pies or you've instead chosen to build your own through your own individual stocks and ETFs, M1 Finance will then manage the account for you and they will actually rebalance it for you based on the percentage allocations that you set up when you first set up the portfolio. So basically what that means here, if you click on this little plus sign, click on rebalance here, M1 Finance will buy the underweight slices and sell the overweight slices to bring your pie back to its targets. So again, that's like I showed you, if you want to invest 10%, 10% in 10 stocks and you click this rebalance button, M1 Finance will automatically re rebalance it for you to make sure everything is perfectly at 10%. And in addition, whenever you make any new contributions to your M1 Finance portfolio, they will then deposit those contributions and invest them based on your percentage allocations just the same. And like I said, guys, there's no limit to how many M1 Finance pies you can create in your M1 Finance account. You can choose to create one or multiple. So if you want to have maybe a more stable, diversified portfolio for your long-term investing, and maybe in addition to that, you want to have a more aggressive portfolio with different investments for more short-term investing, you can do that just the same and they're completely separate, but you can manage and track them all from one single app. So let's actually take a second now to talk about the actual investments offered on M1 Finance. Again, like I said, guys, you can choose from over thousands of individual stocks and ETFs. So like I said, you have several options here, pretty much any stock you can think of, you can search for it here. You can see some of the most popular ones here as well. Any stock you're interested in, you can click on it. You can find all the statistics on that stock. M1 Finance also updates news every day on every single stock or ETF. You can see the price history and performance of every stock and a little brief overview explaining that company as well. So uh, that's pretty cool. Like I said, they do have several ETFs. Again, ETFs are exchange traded funds, which are just basket of stocks that are related together. So you do have a lot of flexibility with your investments. Now, when it comes to investing, dividends are a great way to boost your portfolio. Now, if any of the stocks or ETFs you own on M1 Finance give out dividends, M1 Finance actually does support dividend reinvestment. Once your dividends reach at least $10, M1 Finance will then invest them into your M1 Finance portfolio. Until they reach $10, those dividends will sit in your cash account inside your M1 Finance portfolio. So another way the M1 Finance app actually helps you automate your investing is through setting up automatic recurring deposits. And you can do this on the M1 Finance app. So what you want to do is open up the side menu, click on funding. Once you're inside there, you want to click on deposit and you can set a schedule. So you can choose to invest on a weekly or monthly basis, any amount that is comfortable for you. And this is a great way if you're just getting into investing to set up a positive uh, recurring habit of investing because with time and consistency, that is how you grow wealth. So let's just say that you want to invest uh, $50. You can do that $50 on a monthly basis. You can say you want to do that, or you can say you want to invest uh, $10 on a weekly basis. Either way, you have a lot of flexibility to help you automate that investing. There you go, $10 on a weekly. You could even set the day of the week so it lines up after your payday. So that's a great way to automate your investing and not really have to worry or think about contributing to your investment portfolio. Now you don't necessarily have to use the recurring deposit feature if you don't want to. You can turn that on and off at any time. You could instead choose to make a one-time lump sum deposit and that's another great way to get started investing just the same. But like I said, if you do want to create a positive consistent habit of consistent contributions, even small contributions with a set schedule recurring deposit will grow your portfolio over time. The next feature on M1 Finance is what's called M1 Spend. Now this is an upcoming feature for M1 Finance users and it's basically a mobile banking account built into your M1 Finance app. So M1 Finance is looking to add a banking account into your investment portfolio to give you a way to easily transfer money between your investment and your checking account. So it'll come with an M1 Finance debit card. So I'm really looking forward to that because that'll make transfers, uh, deposits and withdrawals quicker and easier than having to link an external bank account for that purpose. So let's take a second now to cover the different types of accounts offered through M1 Finance. 
So by default, guys, the default account is the individual investing account. Now, this is a non-retirement account, and it's for one individual. Next up, you can choose to open up a joint investing account. Now, the joint investing account is also a non-retirement account, but it's designed for two people, whether that be two spouses or two partners, that's a joint investing account. Thirdly, you can choose to open up a retirement account, whether that be a traditional IRA, a Roth IRA, or even a SEP IRA, or roll over an existing 401k. Lastly, you can choose to open up a trust investment account for your trust. And the great thing with M1 Finance is, is that you're not limited to one of these types of accounts. You can choose to open up multiple. So you can have both an individual investing account plus a retirement account, and you can even have a joint investing account with a partner or spouse on top of that, just the same if you would like to. So a question you may be wondering, are there any fees to use the M1 Finance app? What's the cost? Again, guys, the M1 Finance app is 100% commission free. There's no commissions to buy or sell any investments. There's no fees to withdraw. There's no monthly maintenance account fees. It is a 100% free app to use. Now they do have an upgraded account option called M1 Plus, which is coming soon, which will offer an array of extra features for a monthly price. But the default investment account, whether you choose any one of those investment accounts I just uh, talked about, those are all free to use on the M1 Finance app. Another question you may be wondering is, what is the account minimum, Eric, to get started with M1 Finance app? Well, the great thing is there's actually no account minimum to open up an M1 Finance account. However, you will have to deposit at least $100 to get started investing. Another question I often get about M1 Finance app is, is investing with this app safe? Well, M1 Finance is registered with both the SEC and FINRA, and they are SIPC insured for up to $500,000, including up to $250,000 in cash against brokerage failure. So you are protected through that SIPC insurance, which is the type of insurance for registered investment brokerages. All right, guys, so now I wanna briefly go over the pros and cons of the M1 Finance app to help you decide if it really is the right investing platform for you. So the first pro with M1 Finance obviously has to be the fact that it's 100% free to use. There's no commissions to buy or sell your investments, there's no brokerage fees, and there's no monthly account maintenance fees to use the app. The second pro with M1 Finance is that they really make passive investing easy. You can choose to automate your deposits through their recurring deposit feature, and M1 Finance will then manage and rebalance your portfolio for you. So this is not an investment app where you have to constantly be managing your investments. You have to constantly, on a day-to-day -day basis, go inside your app and track everything and watch everything. M1 Finance will manage it all for you through their robo-advising technology. You just simply choose one of their pre-built portfolios or you build your own, and M1 Finance takes all the guesswork out of the rest. And the third pro with the M1 Finance app is the fact that you can invest in fractional shares. Like I said, guys, if you're new to investing, just getting started building your investment portfolio, this is a great way to get started because you don't have to start off with hundreds of dollars to invest in companies that you believe in. You can invest in fractional shares and buy fractions of every company that you believe in and really start building your portfolio. Now, this is a great advantage with M1 Finance over another commission-free trading app such as the Robinhood app because on Robinhood, for instance, you can only buy full shares. But with M1 Finance and the reason I give it the edge over Robinhood for new investors is because you can invest in those fractional shares. So now let's talk about the cons with the M1 Finance app and who this app might not be as ideal for. So the first con with the M1 Finance app, guys, is that it really is an app geared towards passive and long-term investing. If you're an active stock trader and you're looking to actively trade your stocks and actively manage your portfolio, this may not be the investment platform for you. I would probably recommend checking out my Webbull trading app review. That is a uh, commission-free trading app where you can actively trade stocks that app has a lot of features which are geared towards active stock trading or the Robinhood app is another option as well. Again, M1 Finance app doesn't really have a lot of tr active trading features. It's more built towards long-term passive building your wealth and your portfolio. And probably the only other con I could think of with M1 Finance is that you cannot currently invest directly in cryptocurrency. The M1 Finance app is great for diversifying your portfolio in several areas of the stock market, again, through thousands of individual stocks and ETFs but you don't have the option to add any cryptocurrency to your portfolio if you'd like. So 
If you want to invest in cryptocurrency, I'd recommend checking out my Coinbase app review. That app allows you to directly buy Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and several other cryptocurrencies. Now, if you're still unsure if the M1 Finance app is the right investing platform for you, I encourage you to check out my full in-zip review on my blog at everydayinvesting.com. I'll link that review down below. In that review, I go full in depth on the M1 Finance app, really break it down and help you decide if it's the right investing platform for you. On the other hand, if you feel the M1 Finance app is the right platform for you and you want to try it out, definitely feel free to join through my referral link in the description box below where you can get a free $10 from M1 Finance to invest when you open up your M1 Finance account and invest your first $100. If you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and leave me a comment down below with your favorite feature of the M1 Finance app. Your likes and comments are always appreciated, guys. And of course, if you have any questions on the M1 Finance app, leave your questions down below as well. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Now, if you are new to the M1 Finance app and you're just getting started, feel free to check out any of my other M1 Finance app tutorial videos right up there to help you go more in depth on the M1 Finance app. Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching and I'll catch you all in the next episode.